pressure mounting for blue state governors? Well, here's one reason. American workers are just getting crushed, especially those who can least afford it. According to the new data analyzed by the University of Chicago, nearly 50 percent of hourly wage earners at small businesses are not working. And of those who are, they've seen their hours cut 50 percent on average. Hourly earners in industries like retail, hair salons, they've pretty much seen all their work evaporate, and many of them all their income and savings. This is not something, as we've seen, said before, actually, we've said this since the end of March. This goes on for much longer. It's not sustainable. Joining me now, Victor Davis Hansen, senior fellow at the Hoover Institution. Victor, these are grim figures, grim. How long before Newsom, Northam, uh, Maryland with, uh, with Larry Hogan and Michigan, the, as other states open around them, People from those states are just going to travel to the other states, making the situation even worse, correct? Yeah, I think so. I think the people realize something their officials don't, that these models, and I'm speaking from California, where next week we were supposed to have 25 million cases, and at the lethality rate, we would have about a million dead, and we have only 50,000 cases and 2,200 dead. It's off by a huge magnitude. And, Laura, one size doesn't fit all. Even the, the monstrosity of the bureaucracies in Europe, the EU doesn't try to say Germany's policy will apply to Spain or Italy's policy will, will apply to Germany. It doesn't work that way. And we're a very diverse country. Just three, three states, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and New York, account for about 55 percent of all the deaths, and yet they only have about 11 percent of the population. But California and Texas and Florida, they have about 30 percent of all the people in the United States reside in those states. They've had about 5,500 deaths. So they're just radically different situations. And this one size fit all doesn't work. No. And we need, we really have, we have two problems in the country, I think, Laura. One is all of us are in this together, but we need to focus on those three states and ask ourselves why 11 or 12 percent of the population has suffered 55 percent of the fatalities. Is it the weather? Is it population yeah. density? Is it elevators or subways? And the, the credentialed class has been wrong on mouthing, wrong on the mask, wrong on antibodies, wrong on almost everything. And the people have lost confidence because they don't address these basic practical yeah. questions they want to answer. But, Victor, Bill Gates has all the answers. Bill Gates wants to use this, he said, to transform American education, and we'll be working with Cuomo to do that, obviously rolling out these vaccines, even though we see this virus changing and perhaps even attenuating, weakening. Uh, so there, there's a lot of other things going on here that are driving this using this this horrible virus and the horrible tragedy that's befallen the country to radically realter life in America and make a lot of people, at least in the short term, a lot less free, Victor. And that has Absolutely. to be driven home. That has to be driven home. You're losing your freedom. Your freedom's gone if you can't travel, you can't you can't go see a show, you can't you know go to a restaurant, you can't go to church, can't go to school. At some point you have to ask well, you yourself, what is life? We went through the Civil War and lost 600,000 deaths. We went through World War II and lost 400,000. FDR is not praised because he put Japanese Americans in a camp and suspended the Constitution. Lincoln is still criticized for suspending habeas corpus. Woodrow Wilson's a progressive icon, but progressives don't say, I'm so glad that he suspended the First Amendment during World War I. Every president that tampers with the Constitution lives to, or his legacy regrets it. And that's the problem. Then we have this other hypocrisy. Problem. We saw that with uh, Neil Ferguson in the UK today. But Bill Gates is, I, I think he's done a lot of great things, but he's deeply embedded in the Chinese project. He's got commercial ties there, he's got huge financial interests. He's not a credible uh, observer of the Chinese role in this. And when he says we're criticizing China too much, and I'm not blaming Andrew Cuomo, but he's yeah. in a state where there were two disastrous decisions. And one was people were encouraged to go out, and then people were sent into nursing yeah. homes uh, that had the virus. And those were devastating decisions. So yeah. I don't think that people should be so haughty 
without a little bit of humility given their records. Absolutely. Well, Victor, remember, being an expert, a credentialed expert, <laughs> yeah. means never having to say you're sorry when you make a mistake, including oh, Neil Ferguson, who ended up, of course, uh, hanging out with uh, his, uh, you know, paramour and breaking quarantine and everything else he was doing. And